Okay, this is Billy's mind, okay? So, when I was about nine, I went on a camping trip with all my homeschool friends. Like, that's, I'm not just saying like they were all homeschoolers and that's why we went, like, like it was like a homeschool camping trip because the bitches are a cult. We went to, I don't know what campsite. I don't, I don't even know. It was where my parents got married. And so that's all I remember. So it was this campsite and we were only gonna be there for like a couple days. It wasn't gonna be like a week, weeks and weeks of camping. But the first day, literally we got there, we had some food. Me and all my friends were just like farting around and shit. And like a couple hours after we got there, we saw some deer in the field. We were like, wow, there's deer in the field. And so me and all my friends, we started to run towards the deer in the field. I don't know what we were expecting. I don't, I don't, we were gonna go ride them. I don't know. We went, we walked over to the deer's, deer, I guess. Is it deer? We walked over to the deer and we were all like, oh wow, some deer. And then one of my friends was like really fri flipped out of bugs. And so she would always like overreact to bugs and stuff. She started screaming, like screaming. And she started screaming and like, oh my God, there's bees in my hair. And we were like, this bitch. And we were like nine. I was like, this bitch is just overreacting. Like she's not, she just was so flipped out by bugs that I assumed like she would just be like, oh, there's like ants and she's like overreacting. She starts screaming and like, like, like runs back to the parents. And then my friends and I, we were like, Okay, well, this is kind of creepy. Let's start to go back to the campground. And then we started to run, and my other friend fell to the ground and started screaming. And she was like, there are bees in my hair. And she started screaming the same thing. And I was like, oh my God. And so I like ran over to help her, and then my other friend fell down. And she started screaming that there were bees in her hair. It was literally a horror movie. And we were all screaming, like screaming like we were dying. Like, because we, we thought we were the f and uh, so then I ran back to help them because I wasn't gonna just, gonna just leave them where all the bees were. <laughs> like, and so I kind of had accepted like, I'm next, I know I'm next. And so I, I reached down to like help them back up and I just like felt it, I felt. It started down here in the back of my head and then it just was like zoom, and there were all these bees all over my head, stinging my head. There was one, and then I saw them fly there, and one stuck, stung me under my nail. They were yellow jackets, we realized, because yellow jackets don't die after one sting. So we had gone to see the deer, stepped on a yellow jacket nest, and they had all swarmed us. And I'm telling you, there were like 20 bees stinging my head at once all of us and then we all were like screaming and screaming like bloody f***ing murder and we run back to the campground and it was crazy because my other friend she has a complete opposite story of this because she wasn't with us so she was and she was also like eight or some shit. she was in her her tent she's deathly allergic to bees and she didn't bring her um bee pen which is stupid EpiPen. I just said B pen. <laughs> she didn't bring it because I don't know. That's stupid. We're going camping. Like bring your fucking EpiPen. And so when she heard like us screaming, "There's bees in our hair," she was ready to blow up, man, for real. And so we. This is basically how it was. It was literally a horror movie, screaming bloody murder. We run to the campground. And all the parents come out, everybody from every single tent, everybody from the whole camping, it was a lot of people. They all came and they all like rushed over to us and we were like, ah, there's bees in our hair. And, they, and then everybody's like mom started like pulling bees out of my hair. And then they made us all take our shirts off because bees were falling into our shirts. And I was nine, so it wasn't like I was like taking my shirt off in front of people, but I was really insecure and I was really upset and I never wanted, like I never even wore like bit bikinis when I was younger and like, I didn't even own a swimsuit. And they made me take my shirt off in front of everyone, in front of like all the boys in the camping, in the camp out. And I just had bees, like, or yellow jackets all over my head. I was sobbing, like all of us were sobbing and screaming and everywhere I looked was another friend of mine screaming who was in the field and having people pull 
yellow jackets out of their head. <laughs> and then suddenly I looked at my finger and my finger was like that big, like huge. I also had feathers in my hair at the time. <laughs> I remember the feeling of doing this and every two seconds I'd feel something and I'd go, and I'd pull it out and it would be a yellow jacket. Ugh. Literally I'd do this, I'd feel something, I'd grab it and I'd pull it and it's a yellow jacket.